Aloha, and welcome to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. My guest today is a phenomenal saxophonist, composer, and producer who is from the Ukraine. He started playing the saxophone at a young age and comes from a musical family. The song Moving Forward, which is on his debut album, Smoothability, which features Grammy Award winning American jazz pianist Bob James, became a top song on the American jazz charts and was in the top 10 Ukrainian albums of the year. The album also placed fourth for the top 100 best smooth jazz albums here in the United States. This artist has traveled around the world and has played with Bob James, Jamala, Candy Dolfer, Julio Iglesias Jr., Eros Ramazzotti, Valerie Stepanoff, Tina Carroll, Eric Moore, Dave Koz, and many other artists. I am so happy to have him here today on the show. Let's welcome Andre Schmutt. Aloha, Andre, how are you? Aloha, I'm good. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Oh, sure. You know, I, I have to tell the viewers, and we'll talk about this later. Um, I first met this young man, it was about a month ago, when you came here with Bob James yeah. at Blue Note, Blue Note, Hawaii. And like... I'm telling you, if you guys have not heard his song moving forward, that is so inspirational to me. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to talk about that. But before we get into that song, okay, and, and all the other projects that you have, how did you get your start in music, Andre? Oh, uh, actually, I born little small village in Ukraine, and my dad was a pastor uh and in our church we doesn't have music but one day one guy with saxophone came in our church and when i hear this sound i just fell in love to saxophone and start asking my parents please i want to be a musician yeah something like this <laughs> <laughs> what age did you start andre uh actually i i, I was nine Nine. Yeah, nine years. That's, that's that's still that's still young. Wow. Now, where did you get your musical training? Uh, you mean college or? Yeah, college. Where did you go to college? Where did you learn to play music? Oh, okay. Uh, I study in college in Kiev. It's Kiev. It's capital of Ukraine. College called. Uh, college name of Glier. Glier, it's composer. And I uh, spent there eight years. I study jazz saxophone over there. And also I'm doing master degree also. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. Now, what is your favorite genre of music to play? Oh, this interesting question. Uh, because I love a lot of genres. Actually, I play more smooth jazz style, as you know. Mm -hmm. But I also love to play gospel music because I'm Christian and I used to play in church all my life. Also, I really love and try to play traditional jazz. It's more serious music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love different genres, yeah. Awesome. Now, I want you to tell, because you have a special, a special friendship, kind of special bond with Mr. Bob James. Yeah. And in the show, he tells the story about how you submitted your demo to him mm -hmm. and how he really didn't take demos. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh... Actually, Bob James, he's my favorite musician and person who is inspired me a lot and really, really long time. Uh, first of all, first time I hear him in real, it was, uh, I think, 12 or 13 years ago in Ukraine, they performed with foreplay in Ukraine. 
and when I listen it, it's blowing my mind. I'm I was shocked, and I decide if I wanna be professional musician, I want to play something like this. And then I had a huge dream to have Bob James in my record, and I just record this um, demo in my house. Uh, I remember those days. I record it <laughs> and I <laughs> just send him in Facebook. And I really, really nervous. I'm like, I can't eat and sleep. I just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and and he answered me. Yeah, he answered me like, I love your song and I will be play solo for you. It was it was like miracle in my life. I can tell, I, and and I can see the bond between between um, you and and Mr. James, and I just think it's amazing. That song is amazing. If you guys have not heard it, to my viewers, um, moving forward, this young man right here. If you you need to listen to it. I mean, I listen to it over and over and over. Uh, and if you go on to YouTube, I think the most touching one is you are playing with an orchestra. Mm -hmm. You are playing, and and that's is that in Kiev? Yeah, exactly. That was Thanksgiving celebration, and we had, I think, two hundred thousand people over there like its main center of Kyiv. Uh-huh. We have this big stage there and orchestra and I had the opportunity to play and perform the song with orchestra. Simply and actually, amazing. And actually after this song Bob's uh saw this video in in internet and after this song uh I had the possibility to to play with him in Kyiv, perform in Kyiv mm -hmm. four years ago. Yeah. Yes, and and he talks about that, mm -hmm. and um, the you know it, the song is just amazing. Uh, the other thing that he talks about, and, and we won't dwell too much on that. You still have family over in the Ukraine. Um, I'm just going to stop talking right and just find out is every, how is everything over there. And just to let you know that, you know, our prayers are with you constantly with you and your family. Thank you so much. I appreciate over, you. Over in the, over in the Ukraine. And I know Bob did, did, did say one thing. You were here in the United States and you were on your way back. And that's when, all that stuff happened. That's mm -hmm. when the war began. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, actually, exactly this day I stay in his house, Bob James' house, and we record some music. And day of invasion, he just uh, uh, take me to airport. And yeah, it's happened there. Uh, sorry. Yeah. It's okay. So we're going to move on. Okay. We're going to, we're going to move forward. What is the major difference between music in the Ukraine and here in the United States, if any? Oh, uh, you mean jazz music or yeah, jazz music, any music, jazz, gospel, um, any music, music in general. Yeah. Actually, we have our native music, Ukrainian music. Okay. It's really special music, and definitely I want to mix it with with my music in future. But uh, what about jazz stage? I'm so proud for Ukrainian jazz stage right now because it's really it's grow up the the well uh, last I think 15 years and we have really g great musician over there and actually uh, how can I say we get the inspiration from American musician 
because just music from America and the main thing in my life, I, I was so proud to make American music over Ukraine, you know, because we don't have the strong culture of this type of music there. And uh, we are musician, we just try to grow up with this music there and mix it with Ukrainian music. Okay. Okay. Now, you already have collaborated with one of your, you've played with many artists, and you've already collaborated with one of your favorite. If you had the choice, or if you had another artist that you would love to collaborate with, who would that be? Uh, that'd be Jonathan Butler. Oh, and I can see the two of you doing something big. I can see the two of you doing something big. Whatever, whatever that is, whenever that happens, it's gonna, it, it's gonna be big. Wow. Now, yeah. let's talk about before we talk about um, the tour. Let's talk about your your discography. Basically, um, your debut album is entitled Smoothability. And that's where my favorite song, Moving Forward, um, featuring Mr. Bob James, is on that. What inspired you or what um, made you give, give the title of that song the name Moving Forward? Uh, it's an interesting question because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I think something uh I think the other person gave me this name. He listened just he listened this song and he told me like you need to call it moving forward. Yeah. But right now I have another sense for it because I I dedicate the song people who fight for freedom in my country. Mm. Like because they're moving forward all day, all day and night. Yeah. And that, that's an excellent title, I'm telling you. I, I tell you again, that song inspires me. You know, every time, you know, I see something or something that's bothering me, I'm like, you know what? I'm moving forward. And then I put that song on and I, I, I keep it going. I, I, I keep it going. Now, the title of your second album is entitled Soulmate. Mm -hmm. What made you? What made yeah. you pick that title? Yeah, this title uh, is dedicated to my wife. Oh, soulmate, and special, especially the song "Soulmate," dedicated to my wife, to uh, my love. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Um, now let's talk about. Uh, you're touring. You're touring right now with Mr. Bob James. Uh, he, he invited you to be a part of his quartet. Now, who else is a part of that quartet? And how is that experience? Uh, can you repeat the question? How is... Yeah, how is the experience working um, with Mr. Bob James oh. as far as being a part of his... Bob James Quartet, and then who else is a part of that quartet? Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, I want to tell you, that's my, how can I say, I think huge musician dream to be a part of his quartet, actually. Uh, it was unbelievable. We, we had a 13 or 14 concert around the United States, and... Uh, uh, I was so excited because playing with him, you every day grow up. He always give us uh, the best advices, like how we can play, how we can grow up, what, how we can listen to each other in quartet. It's so cool. It's so great. We have Michael Palazzolo on the quartet. He's awesome bass player. And also we have James Atkins who play on the drums. This guy's crazy, <laughs> crazy <laughs> musicians. Yeah. Um, 
Now, well, why don't we just stop right there for a minute? Are you able to play a little something for us right now? Yeah, sure. I have my soprano with me. Okay. Actually, I, I want to tell you a short story really quick. Okay. Uh, we had a concert in uh, Seattle with Bob James, who played Jazz Ali there. And uh, we have there my one of my favorite sax player, Jeff Kashiva. Okay. Jeff Kashiva takes his mom to listen Bob James. And I was so nervous because, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> giant sit in the hall and listen to me. And uh, after concert, uh, we met and I told him, like, I'm your huge fan. Can I take a picture with you? And he asked me, hey, Andre, what kind of soprano are you using? Because, like, it's the best sound I ever heard in life. <laughs> he told me like this. And I told him, actually, I bought this soprano for 90 bucks in supermarket in Ukraine. What? Yeah, it's like, it's no name. I don't have nothing here. Like, yeah. But I play with this soprano 15 years. And I really, look, it's like a little bit destroyed, <laughs> but I really, really like it. And uh, yeah. Well, it has a great sound. where you playing again we've got to get you back to hawaii we have to get you back to hawaii how about that <laughs> now what what um what sets you apart and this might be a little bit hard for you to answer you know but what sets you because there's a lot of saxophonists out there okay yeah. What do you think sets you apart from the other saxophonists out there? Oh, it's a difficult question for me. Uh, <laughs> I would love to listen what you think about it because it's really hard to, to uh, answer for, for this question. Maybe I'm Ukrainian and maybe I, I play a little bit different because <laughs> I don't know. Well, you have a great sound, okay? You have yeah. a great sound, great technique, great everything. And the one thing that I do want to tell my viewers is uh, Bob James, in, you know, when he was talking about you, and, and you heard this too, Bob did not realize how big you are in the Ukraine. <laughs> you are a star. <laughs> no, Ladies it, and gentlemen, this young man right here is a star over in the Ukraine. Right here. Right here. And Bob James did not know it. And now I see exactly what Mr. James is talking about. Now let, let's let's move on a little. Let's move on a little bit. What advice? Mm -hmm. Would you give a an artist, a new artist coming into the industry, coming into the music industry? Yeah, it's going to be short advice, but it's it's not my phrase, but it's phrase inspired me day by day to moving forward. Like uh, I have my story. And I want to tell my story through my saxophone. And I wish the old musician to keep, keep your story, your own story, and tell everybody about it. I love that. I absolutely love that. What 
things do you have coming up? What events do you have coming up? What shows do you have coming up? Uh, the main thing we, uh, the last two years, we work on album with Bob James. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I think it's the main project in my life right now. And uh, I can't wait to release it because it's it's the new music so fresh for me. And uh, I hope we can release it next year. Uh, also, we have uh, the few concert, how can I say it? The tour will continue and we have some concert with Bob James, Quartet. Also, I'm new in United States, just for four months here. I try to understand how it's going over here to make some connection, make some new friends and friendship. My big dream to play my music and show my music to people. Uh, that's, was, that's what I want to do <laughs> in next. And, and it's going to happen. It, it, it's definitely going to happen. You just keep persevering and, and, and do what you do, and, it, and it's definitely uh, going to happen. What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, it's like my hobby. Mm -hmm. What's your hobby? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I love to spend time with my little daughter, She's three and a half Aww. and with my family also, uh, I don't know. I, I spelled, spend all my time with music. <laughs> <laughs> as a true musician, as a true musician, uh, always does. Where can people, uh -huh, go ahead. Yeah, I love to play in the church. I love, I like going to church and I love Jesus. I love music and all my, uh, how can I say? Uh, that's like spiritual things. You know, my, my music, it's all about Jesus and about his love. And that's also inspired me to, to doing something new and next. Yeah. Well, you know, our time has come to an end, but really quickly, I want you to tell people where can they find your music? Uh, actually, I, I found find some labels to, uh, to release my new music because I have a lot of new music and I, I just don't understand how can I release it. But I have two albums. It's uh, on Apple Music okay. and Spotify something. And also I'm really active in YouTube channel. I put there a lot of my music stuff. I have Instagram also. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay. And if you guys really want to know, you can, you know, message me and I'll send you um, all his, all his particulars and all his information. But Andre, I just, I, you know, I, I don't know what to say about you. You know, you're phenomenal. You're amazing. You just keep doing what you do mm -hmm. and um, you and your family will be continue to be in our prayers. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So keep doing what you do. And thank you so much for being here. And I definitely will be looking to, to find out to where you guys are playing again. Okay. <laughs> to my viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, aloha and God bless. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook.
Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.